Joining me on the phone, the Cowboy Poet Laureate of Tennessee himself, David Nelson. Uh, David, good morning to you. It's great to talk to you again. Thanks, Rick. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful day here in Iowa. I hope so in Tennessee also. Most people know, at least those who listen to this program, know that you are from Dubuque originally. You uh, grew up in the North End on Nee Street. In fact, every time I go out there and see Nee Street, I think about you. And I've written a number of books, uh, The Shade Tree Choir, Pals 1, Pals 2, and of course he's done some cowboy poetry, lots of other stuff. A lifelong physical therapist and, and involved in a lot of different things. Kind of a renaissance man, if you would, I guess. And you're coming back to Iowa in November to kind of do a tour as part of the book tour, but you're going to be doing some other things too, right, David? Yes, that's correct, Dick. One of the things I'm going to be doing is not just uh, telling people about the book and sharing chapters, but my book, The Shade Tree Choir, is indeed a story of hope and success as a result of child abuse. And people who come to the classes, if you will, or the book signings, will learn about the effects of child abuse in a general sense and on a personal basis. They'll learn defense mechanisms, coping skills that some people develop, including me, and most importantly, how to manage stress. I wrote a book in the early 90s on stress management and used to travel America teaching people how to manage their stress. And so they'll get an added benefit of learning some things about depression, like we were talking about earlier off air, and uh, results of child abuse, as well as hearing about the books. Oftentimes, uh, David, uh, a person feels that they're all alone, like nobody else has ever experienced what I've experienced, and so there's no place to go, no one to talk to, no real tactics to use, and that's certainly not the case. If you read David's book, it's a study that has its dark side, it also has its very light side. It's a hopeful book, and it is a, a great read, and I enjoyed it very much. In fact, all your books are fun to read. I don't think sometimes people realize just how much effect the mind has on the physical body. Oh, yes, indeed. As a physical therapist, I've done years and years, of course, of training and research in my background, graduating from the University of Iowa and so on, has taught me that things like diabetes, heart problems, stroke, uh, high blood pressure, uh, low back pain, arthritis, all these things have ties to uh, depression, to feeling miserable, and the body reacts to what the mind puts into it. Some people say even so far as those being triggers for those things, right, David? That's exactly right. The mind is an amazing thing. I, I think there's probably a lot we don't know about it even to this day. But managing stress and managing your mood and, you know, when they say a great attitude can make you a lot healthier, they're absolutely right. You know, right. attitude in, in a lot of cases is everything. You've seen studies where people who've been in the hospital start watching lots of comedies and laughing a lot. All of those things help to make you feel better. And when you, obviously, when you feel better, it's easier to deal with all of these things. Exactly, and that's what my books cover, is I am a not just a survivor, but I'm a successful survivor. As you said, a renaissance person, I think that's pretty accurate. I was able to climb out of that and get away from it. There are still times where it rears its ugly head, but I have a whole bag of tools that I use that I'm, I will pass on to people who attend my uh, program. We are kind of running short on time, David, so let's do the mechanics. David is looking for other organizations, maybe church groups, book clubs, whatever you might be interested in. And you do this stress management kind of class for free, right, David? Right, right. I believe in giving back to my community and Dubuque has always been my community. So, and Iowa, I'm proud to be from Iowa. So I'm tickled pink to share my knowledge. Absolutely free. And another venue would be private homes. If people want to gather several of their friends and sit around and I come in and do a, a book program as well as training with them. I'll be more than happy to. All right, now, how do they get in touch with you? Website? You Website would be davidnelsonauthor.com. And can they sign up there, David, or do they want to call you directly? They would want to call me directly. Yeah, let's have them call you. All right, you can call us, and you can get a hold of David, and uh, he will set up a time with you. He's doing kind of a book swing through the Midwest. And as David gets specific situations where he's going to be here or there, we'll try and keep it posted on those, too. David, it's always fun talking to you. Have a great week. Uh, you too. Bye.